Hey guys, it's me Raymond and I'm back today to bring you another doll review and today we're going to look at one of my um, very few like different versions of Barbie I guess you could say um, and that would be my Hispanic Twirly Curls Barbie. So, um, so for those of you who don't know, back in the early 80s, kind of into the mid 80s but mostly the early, um, they would sometimes make two and even three different versions of like popular Barbie dolls. Um, so sometimes there would be like a like a, a, a Caucasian um, dream glow Barbie and then there would be a African-American dream glow Barbie. And in this case there were three. There was Caucasian, African-American, and Hispanic twirly curl Barbies. And there was also three um, Day to Night Barbie, I think. I think there was even three Tropical Barbies. There, there's, there's a lot of them that there are three of. So, um, so this is one of those examples. And as soon as I found out that there was a, a Hispanic Twirly Curls Barbie, I knew I had to have her. And when I saw her, I knew I had to have her because she is so pretty. Um, so first, let's look at her face. She has the um, the, his, the Hispanic face mold, the Spanish, um, I think the first time they used it was the Spanish um, Barbie, I'm pretty sure. I think so. I can't remember. But um, so she has that face mold. She has really pretty like brown, kind of a light brown eye. Um, there's like a nice little light color in there. Um, her lips are a very dark pinky shade. They're like a pink brown. They're very natural looking. She has a very natural look. I do like that about actually this line in general is that the dolls are very natural. Um, they, they don't really have a ton of makeup on. So because it makes her outfit really, because I feel like if you have a really crazy outfit and a really crazy makeup look, you're, you know, <laughs> you're either a rock star or a woman of the night. So, um, you know, sorry, Barbie and the Rockers dolls, but, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, so this is her outfit. She has a very, like, I don't know. It's, it's very, it's hard to explain. It, it's, it reminds me of summertime. It's just very pretty, nice outfit. Um, so there's like this very tight upper part, it's like a halter top with a nice tie in the back. Um, it's like kind of um, jo like uh, joined or how do, I don't know, kind of like ruffly right here. Um, kind of like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. I forget what it's called. Um, and then her skirt has like these ruffles on it all the way around, all the way down. There's a big slit up the front. And actually, forgive me, there is a snap on the front and it's kind of like a bathing suit underneath. So and that's what it looks like and you can just take it off that way. And there's this nice like silver belt that um, is attached but um, it has like a nice texture on it. I really like it. It's kind of like little spirals on it. Um, so then she has these heels on which are not my favorite heels in the world. They're cute, don't get me wrong, but if you've watched my videos you know that they typically fall off um, for in my case, I don't know about you, but I do not have much success with these staying on. Sometimes, like, I feel like these, this foot style allows them to stay on a little better. Um, the kind of older looking foot, the, the less rounded one, the more, as soon as it, and then it falls right off her foot. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so she just has a simple ring on and she doesn't have any other jewelry, no other earrings. Um, and her hair, you might notice that her hair is super long. It's because she's a hair doll. Um, and I do have one of her little twists in her hair. Um, but so she came with this magic little twirly curler and they actually make these for people. <laughs> so this is like a, a popular thing to do now. I've seen YouTubers review them. So um, what you do is you put her hair in these little barrettes, you clip them in and you um, you twist the individual ones 
I'm not, I don't want to demonstrate it, I guess, because it's, it's hard to do. So, um, for like for the camera. So then you, then you twist them together and you get this look. It's very loud, but you get this sort of look and it is really cute. And you usually don't need rubber bands for this doll's hair. Actually, her hair was very oily when I got her. Um, it had like very, a, a very greasy, like sticky feeling. It was, it was strange. I, I had to play with her a lot and she, um, condition it a few times and get it to not feel that way. And it still is a little sticky, but it's not like it was. So that's one weird thing about her. And I'm not the only one. Um, another YouTuber um, actually said the same thing in her video about this doll. So um, so if you get this doll, be aware of that. And let me, know, let me know, though. Let me know if yours had that problem, too. But so it's just kind of very simple thing. Just a little switch on there. And you just, I don't know. It's fun. Um, she came with a purple chair that you can stick her in and style her hair. And there's a little suction cup on the bottom that you can just stick to the counter or whatever table. It works best with like a, a nice hard surface. And um, and you just stick her in there and you can twirl her hair and she sits still. Um, she came with some hair accessories. My lamp is on her um, ribbon. So she has two ribbons. I can't find the other one, Shh, don't tell. So here is one of them. They're very long, nice ribbons. You can twist them in her hair, put her hair in a you know ribbon, whatever you wanna do. Um, there are also four of these little barrettes that you can clip her hair and they're very similar looking to the to the barrettes on the um, twirly curler device so and they just open that way <laughs> that was that was sad um, so then she also has these um, comb and brush when they used to come with those they don't come with combs or brushes anymore um, she has, well, here, here are instructions. Shows all the different things that she comes with. I just love these pictures of them. So, it shows you how to do all the stuff that I already showed you how to do. <laughs> or told you about. So, you just separate your hair and you put, you know, you just twist it in a little thing. And, I, I like these though, because they show you all the different things that you can do. And there's the the 90 day limited warranty on <laughs> um, She came with an important notice for best sticking action. Place small amount of tab water on the bottom of suction cup. Printed in Taiwan. Good to know, thank you. Um, she also came with a booklet, Barbie Roll of Fashion. I do not believe we have looked at this one. So here is Dream Date Barbie and Ken. And of course, PJ is not shown because she's a third wheel, but you know, she was there too. There is my first Barbie, Pink and Pretty Barbie, Angel Face Barbie, Happy Birthday Barbie. Um, the Sensational Malibu line, twirly curls. See, there they all are together. Um, here is Magic Curl. That's for you, Ran. That's your girl right there. Um, there is Fashion Jeans, Barbie and Ken. I love all these little fashions in here. The Party Nights, um, Three Elegant Doll Fashions in One Package. <laughs> I don't know what these are, it doesn't say. Kind of strange. I love some of these fashions. I like this jumpsuit right here. It's really cute. And this right here. <laughs> that fair faucet hair. Oh, I really like this one with the blue. And there are some wedding fashions. <laughs> like I'm just showing you guys. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. I'm just showing you guys some stuff. I like this dress too. Some of these are so pretty, so well made. Here's some of my first Barbie fashions. I wonder what this little girl's up to now. <laughs> I wonder what it's like to be on a Barbie box. Some more fashions. This one always was strange to me. 
this very like leathery red fashion with like a big purple bow on the front. Here's some Ken fashions. Skipper. Some Barbie fashion fun. I don't think these ones have shoes or something. Some of them say, yeah, shoes not included. At least they let you know. And here's some more. I always like this logo because I'm a Barbie fan too. <laughs> That's what it says on there. So that is twirly curl Barbie. She just got her hair in my mouth. Um, I, I really love her. She's so pretty. I just, I, I love the diversity. Um, and the, I just, I feel like it's, it's cool that they used to make different versions of Barbie. Um, I do think it's interesting that they did that. And actually, oh, I forgot to show you her box. Jeez Louise. So her box is actually, some of it is in Spanish, which I think is really cool. And the little girl on it. Like, I like that they have little girls that represent the, the dolls themselves. I think that's, it's just interesting. But there she is in her little chair. But, um, let's see, one side says twirly curls and the other side is in Spanish. So, super cool. Proof of purchase from Mattel. All right, sorry, wow. Well, okay. <laughs> So yeah, so she's really pretty. Um, if you don't have this doll, you should check her out. Um, she's actually not that hard to find. Um, there's always a lot of her on eBay. Um, but so yeah, this is Hispanic Twirly Curls Barbie. Um, oh, she's so pretty. Okay, anyway, so um, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you guys have um, any of the Twirly Curls dolls. Um, I don't have any of the other ones. I don't have the African-American or the Caucasian. I would like to get both of them but um, all in due time. So until next time, I will see you guys soon. Until then, take care, bye. <laughs> that was the most awkward ending. <laughs> I'm a weird person. Bye. <laughs> Jeez Louise.